Welcome back to The Vocalist. For those of you new here, my name is Bethany and I am a vocal coach. And today we are listening to Casey Tandingan. I've heard her once before. I watched her performance of Rollin' in the Deep on the Wish Bus. So today we are watching her performance of Say Something from Singer 2018. Here we go. There's so many good things I just didn't want to interrupt. Um, at the very beginning of this, when she just is humming, she has such incredible head resonance. Like, and as, as soon as she started to kind of open up into that, that gorgeous, like breathy sound, there's still so much power behind it, which I think is just makes it that much more moving and impactful when she's singing. But we're going back to the beginning. I also, I love this acoustic version. I love, I just love all the choices she's making. powerful. She's going back and forth between, you know, a little bit more head resonance, a little more chest resonance. Um, 
and even her adduction, like there are moments where it's a little bit more breathy and then she closes her chords. Everything about that line was so perfect. It's so simple. It's so... Uh, I love that speech-like quality, and I've mentioned this before. I just... I love when singers do that, um, but she's really using that um, to, like, the emotional benefit of the song. It's not just, you know, a technical thing. It's really, like, it's coming from a different place. I don't know how to describe it. Mm -hmm. Say something, I'm giving up on you. I'll be the one if you want me to. That, that was the other thing that, like, her diction, it's the tiniest, tiniest nuance. And of course, we all know this song, we all know what the words are, but the fact that she put in that little extra effort to really aspirate that T at the end. I mentioned this when I reacted to Billie Eilish, but finding that power, that resonance, and still allowing just that tiny, it's not breathy. It just has sort of this, this like, mm, like foggy, smoky quality to the tone that she's creating. I want to hear that again, but I also want to rewind enough so that you can see she, that little Italianate smile, just really taking advantage of like widening the palate, lifting the cheekbones a little bit. She does that all over the place in this, but you can really see, um, you can see it in her face in that moment because it was a nice close up. That's so beautiful because not only are you um, changing, you know, the the musculature, you're, you're changing the tension in your muscles and which muscles you're engaging more than others, but then you're doing all of that while having to sort of maneuver the breath pressure that goes along with an ascending note. And I, it's just so beautifully done and it, it she's blending so well. And I would stumble. So breathe 
love everything that she does, but when she is singing in full voice, it just is such a glorious tone. It is so full. It just has the tiniest bit of like rasp, that like smoky color I mentioned before, but it is so powerful and so rich. Um, I did want to point out one technical thing that I thought was really cool. If you watch um, her mouth in this next clip, it just kind of shows you how how much you can change um, just with your articulators alone. Um, let me just... Let me go back. So she's got it nice and wide. It's still glorious, full, luscious sound, but you can see just the tiniest movement of her lips and how it's changing the color of her tone. Obviously she's changing the vowel as well, but you before she makes that like purposeful change, there's a tiny moment where her lips move and I think that is just so cool to see. Oops, that was it. You know the other thing I love about this particular cover is that it doesn't sound vocally like it's very challenging and it has nothing to do with the fact that it isn't because it is it's just the way she's performing this like it is so heartfelt like she is just so emotionally invested that it it feels so natural like you could equate you know like these long phrases here as almost like a wailing as like a screaming like an impassioned um moment in the song and she just blends like technique and performance and emotion so well like everything combined it's stunning i'm just gonna play it to the end Just a gorgeous performance. I love seeing singers who are so invested in the text and what they are actually singing. I mean, I could talk about technique for days, we all know this, but at the end of the day, you know, what's the point if you're not taking someone to a place, if you're not giving someone an experience, if you're not using all that gorgeous technique for something greater? And she does that, and I love that. Yeah, that's it for today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.